What up, hipsters and hipstresses, YouTubers and YouTubettes? We got good stuff for you today. It's new local independent music from Olympia, Washington. It's Music Monday. Hi, Diego. Howdy, YouTube. Welcome to our show today, and I guess it's Music Monday. It is Music Monday, a good treat for all you hipsters and hipstresses, YouTubers and YouTubettes from Olympia, Washington. We've got great local independent new music. And our special music reporter, Hobby Shirky, he's going to be finding those musicians for you and bringing them to the YouTube. Was that all right? Mm -hmm. Somewhere? Yeah. I think it goes over here, right? A little, little this way. No more. Yeah, that looks about right. Now do it. Wait, stay right there. And do a, do your hi, I'm hobby. Hi, I'm. Hi. Let's keep that in. Or, put that at the end of the day. or include it's Music Monday. Yeah, there somewhere. Is that good? I thought that was awesome. Was that alright? Mm -hmm. I know, I just wanted to put it in, was that alright? I think that was okay. <laughs> We're just out here in the meadow, having fun. It's Meadow Monday. Alright, I'm going to start a fire and cook breakfast with this much wood on the Stove Tech stove. Econo stove, that is. And we'll get going here in a minute. I'm really hungry. Alright. Stove Tech stove. I'm going to cook up some maybe hash browns and uh, eggs for breakfast. We'll see. Yesterday I asked Angie to work the stove. She is not, she doesn't camp or anything like that, but she starts a fire 50 times a year in our fireplace insert. So in her environment, she's actually an expert. And I wanted to see how an expert in one environment would be able to read the instructions from the stove and be able to work it. She thinks because she was at the research center and she saw the perfectly symmetrical wood they were using and how they used it that that might have caused her to not properly use the stove. But it confirmed what I suspected is somebody who does not know how to use one of these stoves would be very frustrated if they tried to use it without proper instructions. Hopefully enough in biomass and airspace that these little twigs will burn really quick and get the inside of that hot. And as they do, I will add the bigger twigs and then the bigger twigs and start cooking. So I'm going to go prep my pan before I try and light this because I suspect it's going to take a lot of attention. All right. I guess this is our first meal here at the research kitchen on Jimbo Jitsu's farmhouse show. This stove is a demonstration of what could be used to save wood in third world countries. 
and in tent cities, which exist outside of pretty much every major city inside the United States of America. And it'll help the environment, it'll help everybody's pocketbook, and it'll help everybody's lungs. So that's why we're testing these stoves out before we send them out. We want to see how they work. We want to make sure everybody can understand how to use them and what the best care and maintenance for them is. Alright, I guess I don't have hash browns and well, the couple itty bitty potatoes I had, they're growing eyes. Oh, we got Knox Spice hiding over here. Cracked pepper rub. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that on top of the bacon. We got some brown rice. That's really good for you. You know, it counts as a vegetable and a grain. So if you're trying to get away from whole grain wheat stuff, brown rice is the way to go. We got one egg, cage free. We love our chickens. And then we got salt and pepper in case we need that. Guy yeah, out, squishy bowls. Light my fire. Spork. And a knife. So let's light my fire. Ha ha ha. No, I did not stage that horrible pun. What I'm going to do, get rid of that. I'm going to get it really hot inside, and then I'm going to let it cool down and cook on the pot. I skimped a little too much on the paper. So we got twigs going. Yay. Almost went out again. Alright, there's some flame. We're starting to get a little bit of a rocket effect going there. It's getting hotter inside. And the flame's coming out. You don't want to smother the flame though. Alright, I want to get away from the small twigs a little bit, and start putting the bigger ones on, get my, my ceramics inside nice and hot, and once that's happened, we'll come back to it. Alright, I figured I'd wait till the outside of the container was warm to the touch and then I'd let my fire die down. That would really mean the inside of those ceramics is pretty hot and it'll retain a lot of the heat, be more efficient, and we should be able to fry up some bacon egg and some rice. I'm going to toss that rice in at the end. It's going to be kind of like a rice bowl. Should be tasty, of course. The rub you love. Alright, the only thing burning now is these ends here. I'm going to shove these little twigs all the way back. They're pretty much all burned up. And I learned from yesterday that you, you don't want to shove your wood into the back too fast. Otherwise you're going to end up with a bunch of charcoal. It doesn't burn well because there's it, it's too compacted. There's no space. There's no air. So you really want the flame to be at the end of your grate here as much as possible. Is the theory I am thinking works. We'll see how we get there. Start with the smaller end. Seems a bit hot. Let it roar a little bit and then we'll put the pot on. There we're going. 
All right, so much for that theory. It's not heating up that much without a pot on top like it did when we were boiling water yesterday. So I'm going to just pay attention to the bacon. Now my concern was this is a really thin camping um, type stove, so it wouldn't transfer the heat well. But I think just the way it's sitting on the stand might have compensated for that. All right, we got some bacon frying up. It's been about a minute and a half since I shut the camera off. I'm just gonna sprinkle it with some of that Knox Spice cracked pepper. Knox Spice Cracked Pepper Dry Rub. Tasty part of your breakfast. Or on your steaks, chops, roasts. Alright, it is actually cooking a lot more even than I suspected it would. I'm, I'm really liking that feature of the skirt I'm using. Look down here, you can see the uh, fire sticks got a little out of control here, so we'll shove some of them forward. Mm -hmm. yeah, this light my fire spork works really well. And they're not very expensive. I mean, you don't need the titanium Teflon bulletproof version. You can just get the standard one. I've had this for over a year. Probably used it 30, 40 times. I think I added that egg a little too soon. Cook fast, bacon. Cook fast. Next time I need to bring the other spork out here. Maybe some tongs. Oh, better check the fire. Yeah, it's outside the chamber. All right, bacon's there. I'm getting hungry now. Oh man, am I hungry. Come on, Bacon. You like it well done. Eggs don't need to be well done. We'll be holding a stove workshop where we encourage people to come use these stoves so we can see how they first react. So don't watch this video if you're going to attend the workshop. Alright, there's
here's my uh, probably a serving of vegetable, a serving of grain, two servings of meat. What is that? 600 calories? 400 calories? And it's nice and comfortable to hold in my hand with this squishy bowl. Mmm, I like fried rice. And that is our demonstration. Ooh, a little bit of spice from that cracked pepper. Nice. On cooking breakfast, day one. Try to remember to call out each day as I make these, but it's that easy, folks. I just finished eating breakfast. It was very, very good. I enjoyed it. I liked the, how this pot works on this stove, and much better than in the kitchen or on a direct flame three rock fire. And I put the wood out and set it over here and uh, realized I had most of a package of bacon to fry up so I stuck the twigs that are still glowing back inside and they've just started smoking so I'm thinking they're going to reignite themselves just because uh, it's still a hot environment and there's enough suction coming through here that that's what's going to happen. Well, for those of us that are impatient this. How much flame do we really need? That's all it needed. Cool. It probably would have got itself going, but a little external flame doesn't hurt. Alright, I'm going to scrape out this pan and we'll be cooking up some more bacon. I just want to show you all how much little wood we are currently using to burn. That's incredible. And it's so hot, a spider has decided to build a nest on the stove while cooking. We just ran around the other side. There he goes. Can you believe that? Cool enough a spider thinks he can build a web on the, between the handle and the stove. Alright, let's plate it up. There we have her folks, bacon cooked on the Stove Tech Econo model camp stove and it can also be used in humanitarian projects. Thank you for watching, commenting, rating, and subscribing. Give it that big thumbs up. Leave lots of